Que onda chavos? What's up guys? Levi here with Mexican Fluency, where I help gringos to crack the Mexican code and just to learn Spanish in general, right? The topic of today's video is how long does it take to become fluent in Spanish? I've been getting this question a lot recently, both from followers on social media and also some one-on-one -on -one students that I have. They just want to know, like, how long does it take? Like, how long do I have to keep working on my language skills to become fluent? First things first, and I do this in my courses, I'd like to define what fluency is so that students have a clear cut goal. They're moving in a direction. That's super important, in my opinion, for a methodology for learning a language. You have to know what are you shooting for? Fluency for me is when you're trying to learn a language with ease and with accuracy. It's not perfection, it's with ease and with accuracy. So you're able to understand, you're able to express yourself, you're able to negotiate meaning whenever you don't understand something, you're right, you're able to ask questions. Como se dice? Puedes repetirlo, por favor? Things like that. So that to me is fluency. And proficiency is when you are at that native-like level, you're perfect. Hell, I don't even, I don't think I'm proficient in Spanish. I really don't. I don't claim to be. I am fluent in Spanish and I'm very, very happy with that. Uh, so that's just me. However, I am definitely proficient in understanding how to learn languages, the grammar, things like that. Like I understand that at an expert level in my opinion. With that being said, when I get asked, how long does it take to become fluent in Spanish? The answer is going to vary for everybody. It really depends on a lot of things. It depends on your personal aptitude for learning languages. It depends on how much time are you spending per day learning Spanish or immersed in Spanish. It also depends on what is your environment. Like, are you working a nine to five in the United States and you're putting in an hour, 30 minutes a day, or are you relocating to Mexico and you're living next to Mexicans? You're hanging out with Mexicans. You're going through an immersive language school. Like if you do those things, clearly it's going to expedite your path from zero to fluency v much more, right? I mean, it's just obvious. Not to get too off topic, but something I've liked to compare it to is trying to become fluent in Spanish versus trying to get jacked or really in shape at a gym or just fitness in general. So if you're working out like 30 minutes every two days, putting in minimal effort, like, okay, you're going to make some progress, right? However, if you're working out for an hour every single day and you're focused and you're grinding, or maybe you're doing two a days of workouts, or maybe you're even doing a physical fitness boot camp where you're just busting ass two, three times a day over the course of six weeks to three months, and you're just an animal about it, you're gonna get jacked, you're gonna get cut, you're gonna have six pack abs, you're gonna be looking good and feeling great. Same thing with Spanish. Like if you are putting in max effort, you're doing things the right way, you have a coach, et cetera, you're gonna make progress way faster. It's just, it's the, really the same thing. In my opinion, your brain, your mouth, your tongue, they're just muscles. And the more you're putting in the repetition, the more you're doing the right things the right way, you're gonna make progress. Same as if you're trying to get physically fit, you're going and you're doing everything right, you're working muscle, 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 you're burning fat, etc. You're gonna make huge progress and you're gonna be very, very happy with your results. With that being said, I know I'm a little all over the place, guys, but I just wanted to end this video by saying that it really does depend how much, you're, how much time you're putting in. It could take three months. It could take six months. It could take two years. It could take three years. It all depends on your, your natural skills, how much time and energy you're putting in, and if you're doing things the right way. Last thing I want to say here about becoming fluent in Spanish or any other language is that if you are learning as an adult, if you're at 20, 30, 40, 50 years old, you're learning as an adult, you need to be prepared for this. You need to keep in mind that just like trying to get physically fit, it's something you're gonna have to continue to do day in and day out, week in and week out, years and years for your whole life as long as you want to maintain those language skills. Because if you don't use it, you lose it. And not to beat a dead horse too much, but just like if you go and you get in great shape, you're lean, you're muscular, you're in shape, if I just stop and sit on the couch and drink a bunch of beers and eat chips every day after work, then I'm gonna get really pudgy and fat and out of shape. 
Same thing with language stuff. If I just stop listening to Spanish, stop watching series and telenovelas and movies, I don't practice speaking anymore, I don't ever go to Mexico again, I'm gonna suck. I'm gonna get really bad. I'm gonna start forgetting things and I'm gonna sound like an idiot whenever I try to speak Spanish. So guys, that might not be the answer you wanted to hear, but hopefully that gives you a realistic and clear idea of how all of this language learning stuff works. If you guys are interested in joining my courses that are designed specifically for helping you to build a rock solid foundation in Spanish, check out the Fluency Hour Trilogy. I'm gonna put the link down below or you can just head to mexicanfluency.com, click on courses and you'll see it right there. I have Fluency Hour 1, 2, and 3. They're really just designed to help you build day after day after day over the course of three months, build a really nice foundation in the language. You're going to become a really good Spanish learner. You're going to learn grammar essentials and intermediate grammar, and you're going to build a bigger vocabulary. If you made it this far, guys, like the video. Make sure to subscribe to Mexican Fluency. I'm going to be putting out a lot more videos than I have been recently. Espero que les haya gustado. Nos vemos muy pronto. Hasta el próximo video. Adios.